This is one item of ND's new P10 carbon bankware range. And they said in their email, try and break it. All right then. That's my working really hard face. All right, never mind. <laughs> Now, Carbon Bankware isn't anything new to New Direction, but this stuff is new to New Direction because they've changed in the way it's actually put together. Now, it may look very similar to other items that I've brought to you before, but with the P10, the way it's actually put together is much more robust and sturdy. Now, they may look very similar like this, so I'm gonna have to change the camera angle, get nice and tight, up close and personal with these, and show you the ins and outs of how they actually could be configured, but also how they are much, much stronger. So here's an example of how to change over from a standard bank stick setup with the single thread in the middle to a goalpost setup. Now this is how it will come, but in the pack also comes with additional little screw threads. Now these will be able to go into either the center or on the end. So if you want, you could have all three of these with a screw thread on them at one time. But for neatness, you can have just one in the middle like so, and then the end caps covering off the bottom on each of the ends. Now also in the pack comes a little spanner, which is the perfect size, as you'd imagine, to fit over these different screw threads. So for starters, it's gonna loosen off these end caps, like so, and take them off and put them to one side for now. There we go. And then the center one uses the same size spanner. So as you can see, there's some flat size to it on either side, the rest is rounded, and that's where the spanner needs to sit onto. So do that, lefty loosey, and there we go, it's loose. Unscrew that off. We now have three open ports to adjust or change whether we want this to be a standard bank stick setup or goalpost. Now we'll also notice on the inside there are little Allen key holes or torch screws holes. Now this is to do with the new design of the buzz bars. They've new and improved, much more grippy, so that there's no or much reduced risk of the uprights actually spinning on this bar because those screws some kind of wizardry on the inside i won't go into the ins and outs but there's some little pressure pads that when you screw into them grip onto the bar on the outside on both this side and if i take off this plate here which is what your bite alarm or buzz bar or a butt rest screws into take that off you'll see there's another screw hole in there so that's where you then put your allen key in if it does loosen up over time which it shouldn't but if it does that's how you'd access it put your allen key in there and tighten up those two screws to make it nice and snug on the bar itself. So there we are, completely stripped down to how I want to set it up. So as simple as that, I've taken it off the center, I've removed the end caps, and I'm just gonna screw this back in to the end, like so. Get one of the spare ones that comes in the kit and put that on the other end. Like so. And then because I've got the end caps which I took off the end. I'm just gonna stick one of them in the middle, just for neatness. You don't have to do this, but it just keeps everything looking neat and tidy. Probably reduces the risk of any dirt and grime going up into those threads, keeping them cleaner for longer. So there we are, as quick as that, I've changed it over from a standard goalpost, uh, standard bank stick setup, sorry, over to goalpost. And as you can see, I've got the threads on either end. So if you wanna have it in that sort of setup, you can do. And of course, just to finish that off, to make sure everything's nice and snug, Get your little spanner again, tighten that up, find the flat edges, tighten that up, and last one, tighten that up, like so. It's all nice and snug. That is now ready to be used in a goalpost situation. As quick as that, you change it over, and if I want to, I can change it back as quick as I've done it this way. You'll also notice that in the center is another one of these blanking plates. If I unscrew that, it reveals, yet again, another one of the threads that would receive one of the bite alarm or butt rest threads. So if I unscrew this one, say if you had a spare one from another kit, or you wanted to go down to just a three rod at the front and not use your rear rests, as quick as that, I've changed it over. So if you're someone that wants a really snug little setup with three rods really tight together, you could do that with, say, this two, one, two rod piece. But it just shows that all of these threads are universal on this kit. You can move them across to completely configure it and set it up exactly how you want to. 
obviously that's going to be too close together for the rods and reels I'm using today and I'm not someone that would fold the reel handles uber tight. So I'm going to put that back to where it needs to be and put that blanking plate back on the top to keep things nice and neat. Alternatively, with the fact that these unscrew on either end, if you had your bite alarms set up perfectly and you don't want to adjust them and they are snug down nice and tight onto these, all you could do is unscrew this. If you wanted to then move it over to a bank stick setup, take away the crossbars, bring in your bank stick and screw that straight into the top of one of their bank sticks or any old bank stick if you wanted. That way you don't have to take off your alarm head or anything, it's still fitted to that exact topper so it will fit perfectly back onto your crossbars but if you wanted to then move it across onto your single individual sticks as quick as that you're done without having to undo and adjust your bite alarm setup and this is one of their 9 to 16 inch adjustable carbon bank sticks so super easy to adjust you've just got a little screw here which clamps onto the bar so it makes it nice and easy to adjust up and down the thread on the top is universal so that can be used on anything as you've seen as well. You can transfer the heads from the crossbars across onto this if you want to nice and quickly. And on the bottom is got to be one of the sharpest points and spikes I've ever come across with a bank stick. So super sharp. Not sure what the longevity will be on something that sharp but safe to say if you're going into grass at least that will go through absolutely no problems. So that's a nice sharp cone point on the top and the rest is that carbon fibre. It's a super lightweight. Now the P10 range comes available in several different packages on Amazon. So whether you want the two rod setup, the three rod setup, something individually or a complete set of the load, all the range, you can do that on Amazon. And the joys of Amazon, if you have Prime especially, is this stuff can be on your doorstep in less than 24 hours from order. So it's really nice and easy to get your hands on New Direction stuff. That's one of the things I really like about them. But the two rod set is the one I've been using on this session. I've got the rods out over there just using the front section. And that comes as a five and a half inch buzz bar at the rear and a six inch buzz bar at the front. So it gives you that perfect straight to slightly splayed look rather than having two that are the same width. You can sometimes find your tips starting to cross. I've never liked it if tips are starting to cross, they've got to be splayed if it's uh, down to me. So that's what will come in the kit. And of course that comes with two uprights as well, which are the nine to 16 inch bank sticks. And you've got the blanking plates, which you can move around as you saw, moving it from being more of a standard bank stick setup or a goalpost setup. So it's completely up to you. The three rod option is also there as well. That gives you an idea of the size in comparison to the two to the three. But if you want to quit this up, it can be with you in as little as 24 hours, as I mentioned. But that is everything from me today. There's one more thing I want to do. Now they did say this in the email, is the fact that this has been upgraded to a new system so that they're really strong. They said I can show the system, which I've done, and I can also try my best to break it their words. So I'm going to grip either end, hope I don't get carbon splinters and twist. I was hoping that might actually go, but that's proof. That's not even budged. All right, this is a challenge now. Ugh! Ow, cold hands hurt. All right, ND. Fair play. <laughs> that actually hurt my hands. I thought that was going to break. I genuinely did. Nope. There you are. Call me weak, but that was bloody tough. <laughs> my hands actually hurt. <laughs>